What's up, y'all? We're back. <laughs> not really, but we are. But we're not. Anyway, look. We've been gone for a while. Yes. And in this video, you're going to find out why. Yeah. This is going to be a different video from our traditional videos, but we felt the need to make this so that way you guys can understand why we've been gone and why our schedule might be a little bit off. Hopefully you just have patience with us. You rock with us and, you know, just be here for us. We appreciate you guys checking on us. Kai, I appreciate you checking. I saw your comments and as promised, we'd update you. So we updating you. We're updating you. Yeah. So I'm going to give a disclaimer. Okay. I have no clue how to edit or shoot a vlog. <laughs> and as I was looking at other vlogs on YouTube, I really realized <laughs> that I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to that. So well, we weren't thinking about blogging. No, we really we were, but like we didn't. Not really. We were just documenting. Yeah, we were sort of documenting, which is different from blogging. So, yeah. So just just you'll see. You'll you'll see it. But yeah, we, we uh, yeah. But anywho, real quick, <laughs> the reason why we've been missing in action is because Nala, our daughter, yeah. she was diagnosed with scoliosis towards the end of last summer, and it got progressively worse when we had a checkup basically in January towards yeah. the end of January. Yeah, that freaked us out. Yeah, and so. So we decided basically to try to find the best option to help correct mm -hmm. and not just stop it from getting worse, which is the treatment, the course of treatment basically that was prescribed. I was like, mm -mm, no ma'am, no sir. Yeah, like, it's getting worse. That was a lie. Yeah. Um, we're going to find a way to help our daughter that does not require her having to have surgery because that's essentially the path that she was on. Once your spine reaches mm -hmm. reaches basically 50 degrees, it's considered sur surgical. Right. And of course, that is not something that we want for our child. Because we're not trying to have no metal rods put in her back. Yes. And having chronic pain for the rest of her life and stuff like that. That's essentially yeah. where she would be heading no. um, if we did not take measures into our own hands. And Which so that's what we did. Yep. Um, so well, you'll see basically all of that in this episode um but before you check that out we do have a gofundme that we um launched that we would love your support because this treatment is not something that's covered by insurance it's something no. that we have to pay 100 percent out of pocket yes um so if you are willing and you are able please 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 donate share it with people who you think might be able to donate um and if nothing else spread the word scoliosis is very 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 common but a lot of people don't realize it unfortunately until it's too late but I'm going to stop yapping because the video is already long. Yeah. Um, but um, thank you guys so much in advance for your support. Thank you again for the love. Thank you just for everything. We thank you guys so much. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was it. Here we go. All right. Later. Hey, y'all. See part of the peanut gallery back there. Can you give us a different name? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, we are documenting our journey as we are heading to Oklahoma for this little one right here, oh. for scoliosis treatment. It's a long drive. It's about 17 hours. But we're not doing the whole thing in one day. So we'll be stopping um, in about 10 hours. <laughs> All right, everybody. So we're documenting day two. Day two. It has been an adventure. Yeah, so the first hotel, yes, notice I said first hotel oh, that boy. we reserved. When we pulled up, we were a little confused. Yeah, I'm confused too. But we're confused. Because it was gated, like the, it looked like the parking lot was gated, but not gated like upscale. I'm gated. Gated like your car might get broken into type gated. Yeah, because you know, we know the difference. Yep. And then there was like cars blocking the driveway to like get into the parking lot not because they were doing anything they were just sitting there just blocking it Keep left. and it was a group of bikers uh. also like just all by the front entrance just you know they weren't doing anything but having a conversation mind you this was a late check-in because it was like around 11 or something like that at night so i'm just like what are y'all doing and also guys so what happened was when we got to the hotel room it's it was like a mixture of, um, I don't know, smoke, stuff that isn't, you know, appropriate for kids. So, <laughs> yeah. It, it smelled it, ratchet. What, 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 um, Q said. Bruh. I mean, J oh, <laughs> Q. Oh my God. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, it was just, 
It was a hot mess, y'all. It smelled like corn chips, feet, and butt. Oh. Um, as soon as we opened the door to the room, I, and everybody was like, took a step back like, mm -hmm. oh. exactly. Yeah, so we immediately went to check out. We checked in and checked out probably the fastest in history. Yep. Um, we had to find another hotel because I was like, Ain't no way in the world we about to stay here in this. Hell no. And it just, it felt dirty. It felt unclean, you know? Yeah, because it was. Mm -hmm. That was day one. Day two, we got about, let y'all see the thing. I don't know if you can see that. But we have about six hours and 31 minutes before we get to our final destination for the next two weeks. So we're pulling up to the house in just a second, but I want to give a quick shout out to Zion 360 Group. They're the ones who actually own this beautiful property. Great, great owners and um, check them out. Okay, we're walking into the house and we're seeing it for the first time. Yeah. In person. Yeah. yeah. And what I thought of the house, I like the detail of the walls and the living room was pretty spacious. Uh, just, uh, That's uh, the wash and dryer room. Yes. Well, he was just talking about the living room. That was, hey. that was apparently his favorite part. They've got a pantry. Well, this is the pantry, guys. Yeah. As you can see, nothing it but a pot. It didn't smell like hours at home. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it was, everything was new. Apparently, we were the first people to be in here. Yeah. yeah. So, and I liked it. I, I, I love the table. The doors were pretty awesome, too. Yeah. Um, the back room. The back room, we called it the timeout room, but we never really got in there. Cause Nobody sat in a red timeout chair. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> none of us are bad kids. Just get that right. Right. <laughs> Depends. <laughs> so this is going upstairs, mm -hmm. and this is the kids, or the main bathroom, I guess you could say, mm -hmm. that we're looking at. It's actually pretty spacious, and mm -hmm. we're going into the room that Nala take, took. Yeah, this is my room. Yeah. I really liked it. It Well, even though Kara's room had a TV, I still like mine. <laughs> yeah, well, your beds were bigger. Yeah, yeah. that's the reason why. Bro. That, yeah, it's Kara trying ah. to lock us out for a while. <laughs> and my, my room was good. <laughs> and the disrespect of, of mommy trying to push me. Bro. She disrespect me. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we walk into the main or the master. Room. Yeah, primary bedroom. Yeah, primary. Mm -hmm. Mom and dad slept. Yeah. yeah. They had a nice king size bed. It was so nice because yes. had some extra and space. a large mirror. I appreciated that. Mommy's mm -hmm. extra. And a nice big walk-in closet. Mm -hmm. Walk-in closets in every room. I like that. Mm -hmm. The bathroom was really nice as well. Yeah. The vanity. Yeah. And the shower was pretty dope. Yeah, I, shower, was, yeah. I like the shower. Yeah. yeah. Even though I didn't get the I was that was funny. The toilet tissue <laughs> sign. Comment down below and let us know what you guys do. Do you do over or under with the toilet tissue? Right. Over. <laughs> and we had a nice balcony outside of our room. Yeah. Which I don't think we actually ever used it. We went out like maybe once. One time? One for like time. five minutes of walk back in? Yeah. And this is the clinic. Yeah. We're walking up to the clinic. And, um, this was after we had been there, but I just wanted to give y'all a mini tour yeah. of the clinic. And then, Hello. <laughs> over there, and that was like the ready room. Everybody comes in. This is where Nala does her spinal waiting. So we do all of the therapies. That's not spinal waiting. Therapy. Uh, therapy. Yes. You know what I meant. They have a kitchen. For us yeah. To make our food. For lunch, because you're there literally all day. All right, and this here's the stretching table. This was to help get her flexibility on her lower spine. Yes. And how did you feel about this? I, I don't like this one. <laughs> this, is, this is the worst one. You said you want to start? Wow. Okay. As you can see on her face, she's not necessarily too thrilled I about did, this. One time I did it with her so she could feel comfortable, and um, she did feel comfortable. I so, felt surprised. But you'll be done. Oh. Hmm? You want to stop early? Yeah. This is the chair. Like your upper curve goes like this, right? So as it bends, you see how it's really long there and really short on this side? That's what's happening to your spine. So what we're going to try to do on the chair is do the opposite and stretch that short side. We're not going to make this side short, but we're going to make this side grow a little longer. That way we can eliminate these contractures that are making you stuck. And if we can get you unstuck, we're going to get a lot more progress out of your brace. So we used to make a brace on day one, and by the time we got it in, we had them so flexible from the chair that the brace was underpowered and it wasn't working on them. Mm -hmm. So now we learned that we loosen them up first, 
and then we make the brace. Um, this is okay. So the t the chair drops down after they do half of the adjustments. It's basically replicating the brace. It's replicating the brace. Good job. Um, and I wanted to get a good shot so y'all can see how crazy it looks digging into her side. But this is spinal waiting. Her second least favorite. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It doesn't look that bad in reality. Real, you know what I'm saying. But it's act it actually really hard. Yeah, it's very difficult. Yeah, because there's actually weights, small weights. I don't know if you guys can see that little green yeah. one. Green. Yellowish. One on it. And then she has to walk this line with one of them. Waiting well, her, I don't waiting have to, but I chose to. What is this one called? Um, a stretching frame or see the collection stretch, spinal cord stretch. But this this device is a stretching frame. I just think it's called a seated flexion stretch because she's seated and she's going into flexion. After doing the stretching table, they get it, they're using the stretching table to get her ready for this exercise. Yeah. Because this is the one that they said is the granddaddy to keep the spinal cord flexible. Right. So that when she grows, um, it the uh, spine won't go crooked. Right. To, so she has uh, some, some give in her spinal cord. And this is her getting x-rays mm -hmm. to see how well the chair is correcting the spine. Mm -hmm. This is them... Um, the table thingy. No, this, they, they, this is this is Dr. Um, Jansen. Actually, um, it's pretty cool. He's like, I don't know what you call mapping it. Out the brace. Yeah, mapping out the brace. Yeah. That's the right word. So he yeah. can get like exact measurements. You see, I got a picture of the computer. So as he's scanning, it's actually going into the computer with the exact measurements needed to make the brace. Mm -hmm. Yes. They do everything in house. Yeah, very intricate process. Yeah, this is the. This is the second time I think Mal went into the brace. Yeah, so that's the brace, and as you can see, they're adjusting it. And every time you see this repeat, it's getting tighter and tighter and, and tighter, tighter. <laughs> tighter. See, it keeps on going. Like she, yo, I'm I'm looking at Nala, and my heart is breaking right now because I'm like, there's no way this is coming. Yeah, because it's like those corsets from back in the day. Yeah. Like you could, that's how it looks, and as you can see, like her. Uh, left side, you see that indentation there on her left side. That's so that the brace can help to hypercorrect her curve because there's two. There's one on the bottom. There's a slight one on the bottom and a curve also at the top. So one of her lumbar and one in the thoracic. You see, see what yeah. that looks like. So, yeah. When so I how's the brace? But brace. <laughs> the brace. How's the brace? Be honest. Mm. Okay. That's what she did. <laughs> <laughs> And those pictures, that last picture there is actually with her in the brace showing how it's already starting to help correct it. So as long as we can keep her in the brace and everything. Which is a documented problem with bracing. It will lose correctiveness over time mm -hmm. and unless sense. you go and follow the changes with the pads. That's okay. why you're here every three months to right. check up on it. We're about to leave the clinic. We just told everybody that was going to be on camera. It just got really awkward. It's okay. <laughs> We're not camera ready today. Not at all. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dusty Chronicles. Shout out to Kai. Yeah. yeah we def definitely doing Dusty Chronicles. My mouth might be a little cotton mouth. It's crazy. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> we just want to introduce you guys to the people that have helped us through this whole process. We're going to start with Dr. Jansen. We <laughs> have star. And running away is Cassie. <laughs> well, this is us leaving Oklahoma. And heading back to North Carolina. Yes. Look at the spread mom made for us. Excuse the mess everywhere else. The house was nice and clean. We got cornbread, we got salmon, we got baked chicken, mac and cheese, flurry for my West Indian people. And what's that over there? Green. Green. Mm hmm. And some rice in the oven. Oh, we had rice in the oven. Ain't oh. all good? Look like cooked rice. Come on. This is good eating, man. Yeah. Oh, yes, in the salad. How can I forget? Yeah. The salad. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. We have food. What you doing, Jay? Yeah, I'm not even hungry. Ha, ha, ha.